What's up guys, Jay Jackson here. Just finished running, but I want to talk to you guys about how to lose weight eating whatever you want. Whatever food you want to eat, it doesn't matter. Even when it comes to drinking alcohol, you can still get, you can still eat that and drink all those things. But the, the truth is, you got to know the right way to do it. Um, I figured this thing out because, you know, at one point in my life, um, I didn't quite know everything. You know, I used to try all the different diets, you know, the keto, the, um, the, the vegan, the, um, the just everything, the low fat diet, that's high protein diet, I tried everything. And one of the things that I realized about all these different diets was that all of them were centered around um, food restriction, you know, like um, vegan, they cut, you cut out the meat, you can't eat meat, you know, with uh, keto, you can't eat any, um, you can't eat any um, um, uh, carbs. Or, or, or you know you can't really eat any carbs at all you know maybe like 20 or 30 percent carbs if that with keto and so you know for me it was just like I just got tired and fed up with just trying all these different diets not really seeing the results that I wanted nothing was consistent you know I would look at myself in the mirror some days and I see a little bit of a change but I couldn't sustain it because you know I got burned out on the diet you know, I wanted to be, be able to eat the foods that I wanted to enjoy eat that, that I actually enjoy eating. And doing those different diets, I couldn't eat meat at one point. I couldn't eat carbs. You know, I couldn't eat burgers. And so, you know, for me, that was kind of a headache for me. That was a big bottleneck for me. And so I would always kind of, I guess, for the lack of better words, relapse <laughs> and go back to my old ways. And I started to, you know, after so many times, I started to kind of feel ashamed that um, I, I felt like I was failing myself. But um, in reality, you know, if you're going through the same type of experiences where you're trying a different diet, you fall off because, you know, you get these cravings, you get these sugar cravings, or you get hungry, and you're like, man, I got to eat something, you know. It's okay, you just haven't uh, figured it out as far as, like, the nutrition process the right way because once you understand the right way to do it, you can, you can really eat anything you want to eat. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the truth is you just got to know the right way to go about doing it. And um, once you understand like the different parameters as uh, far as how much to eat and when to eat and um, what foods work the best for you, you know, and also just the type of foods that you prefer to eat. And once you nail those things down, um, whether you do it on your own or you have somebody to guide you through it, you'll be able to speed up the results and get the results a lot faster. And um, you won't have to waste a whole lot of time doing things the wrong way. Man, I got sweat all in my eyes. Just got done running two miles or so. I'm over here sweating bullets. It's crazy right now. But um, you know, after I got after I figured out that, you know, a lot of these diets were focused around, you know, food restrictions, you know, I started testing out some different things. I started doing a lot of research, you know, looking at what the celebrity trainers were doing. How did these guys on TV uh, help their clients lose 50, 100, 200 pounds? Because they wouldn't be on TV if they weren't able to get results for their clients. And so I started to just figure out what was working. And then I started testing out different things, you know, as far as the type of things that I like to do, as far as uh, nutrition, the things that I like to eat, and the way I like to live my life. And so, um, you know, I, I came across this whole, you know, a cyclical fasting approach. And that's what I talk to a lot of people about nowadays when it comes to nutrition, because, man, I've been using it for the past like two, three years now. And not only have I been using it, I've been helping my coaching clients get pretty solid results doing the same process. And so, if you don't know what it is, uh, what I'm gonna do uh, once I finish up with this video, because I'm at the time of the, at the time of me making this video, it's live, and so um, after this video is over, I'm gonna drop a link either above or below this video. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, and if you're watching on Instagram, just go to the link in my bio, and you'll be able to get the the fat loss mistakes checklist. One, that checklist is gonna show you what things you need to start focusing on and be aware of, like all the different mistakes that I used to make. I put them in this checklist. Okay, that's gonna help you get results just doing that, okay? And then after you look at the checklist, if you feel like you wanna know more about the cyclical fasting approach that I use, that I help my clients out with, at the bottom of the checklist, you'll see a button where you can um, check out the details on the cyclical fasting approach that I talk about, that I'm talking about in this video. Because um, a lot of the things that we hear about in mainstream, all the different things that you hear the fitness gurus telling us, you know, you can't eat carbs, you gotta eat an extreme amount of protein, um, do fasted cardio, uh, take these supplements, all this crazy stuff, it, it's, it's like, it's a waste of time. <laughs> those, those are not the things that really drive the results. And so, once you get the checklist, look at it, digest it, take it and run with it, use it as your own, and then if you're like, man, look, I'm ready to get some results, I'm ready to lose some weight, um, 
man, what I've noticed uh, with people that use the cyclical fasting blueprint, because now I've made it available to where not just the people that work with me one-on-one -on -one can use it, but also um, people that just want to get the blueprint alone, they can get it. And so, you know, you'll you have that opportunity if you feel like it's right for you. But um, I try to keep these videos kind of short. Don't want these videos to be super long. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, when it comes to losing weight and pretty much eating whatever you want, it's not about, you know, killing yourself with cardio or cutting out the, the foods that you love eating. You know, it's, it's, you got to have a little bit of strategy behind it. But also, you got to be aware of the type of food that you prefer to eat. And also, um, just how you prefer to live your lifestyle. You know, some people prefer, prefer to eat, you know, two times a day. Other people prefer to eat three or four times a day. A day. But um, one of the big mistakes I used to make back in the day, is I'll tell you one of them, um, I believe I had this one in the checklist, which is um, you have to eat five to seven meals a day. <laughs> you have to eat these small little meals every single day. And I just found myself, like, tired of cooking. I was like, man... I just don't have time to be cooking all day and eating out of Tupperware, you know? And so, you know, th that's something that a lot of people would think, that's kind of like what society says, hey, you, you gotta eat all these meals. You gotta eat these small little itty bitty meals throughout the day to be able to lose weight. But that's really not the case, you know? And I didn't realize that until I had, you know, gone to college, you know, got my exercise science degree and studying nutrition and researching and looking at what celebrity trainers were doing. You know, I'm one of those guys, I try to figure out the, the, the fastest and most effective way that doesn't require a lot of time and a lot of effort. <laughs> I like to get done, get things done efficiently. And so um, if you're somebody, you don't want to waste a whole lot of time, you like the fastest and simplest approach, you need to check out this fat loss checklist because it's going to help you out a lot. And you won't have to waste a whole lot of time and energy and effort doing things the wrong way. And so again, I'll drop the link above or below this video after I post it. But um, other than that, guys, keep crushing it. Um, what's up, Michael? What's going on, brother? Michael, one of my one of my inner circle clients, y'all. One of my inner circle clients. But um, anyway, I know sometimes Facebook shows certain people that are watching. It doesn't show everybody, so uh, don't feel bad if I didn't shout you out <laughs> because Facebook just didn't let me see your name. But um, keep crushing it, guys. And if you have questions about nutrition, uh, exercise, or anything like that, just drop it down in the comments. And um, even after I post the video. I look at the comments and see what people are saying and I, you know, reach out and um, respond. So, other than that, I'm about to go get me a shower. I am tired. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>